Editing cues. In this video, we're going to look at how you can edit cues using either the include and update or record merging methods. So first off, we're going to record a few cues onto Playback 7. We're going to select our spots, locate them, select the color red, record onto a playback. We're going to use an encoder now to make yellow, record, select Playback 7 to record a second cue. And we're now going to select another palette green. This time we're going to change the position a little bit there and record that as cue number three. Clear our programmer, double click our select button to open up the cue stack window. We're going to select cue timing to turn this into a more theatrical style cue stack, which we use our go button to step through. And we're going to set a fade time on the cues, let's say a two second fade time. We're going to run up the playback fader and you can see my three cues recorded as so here. Let's say as we run through a queue, in queue number two, we want to change the color from yellow to magenta. So we can use our include and update method to do this. First off, we select include. Notice in your command line, it says include, select playback or window item. We hit the S button of our playback. That's now included queue two, playback seven into our programmer, as it says here. And you'll also notice the update key is lit, waiting for you to press once you've made your change. We're now going to change the color of our lights to magenta, press the update button, and because we included something to the programmer, we're going to clear the programmer afterwards. And now as we step through, you can see queue number two has been updated to magenta. When you include and select a playback, it will always include the current queue you're in. So if you're in queue two, include select would include queue two. If you want to specify a queue to include from a playback, you can press include, Type the queue number on your keypad, include three, select, pressing the S button, and you can see it's now brought in queue number three, even though I'm still in queue number two. Now, a useful way of using this on a live show could be if you need to edit a queue, but you're currently actually outputting and running live your fixtures. Let me just press the clear button and clear that off. So you can see I'm in queue two, which is my spots in magenta. First off, I'm going to press my blind button. The blind button inhibits your programmer from outputting from your console. So now whatever you do in the programmer is no longer output, but your playback still run as normal. So I'm in Q2, spots in magenta, and I've realized the color's wrong in Q3. I want to edit that. Include, three, select. That's put Q3 in the programmer. I'm not seeing that in the visualizer because I'm in blind mode and that's inhibited the output. If I check my programmer window, you can see here I have actually included that Q, and you can see the color is green at the moment using a palette. I could go to my color window and I could change the color, uh, let's say, to amber, like so. Update. Remember to clear the programmer, come out of blind mode. And now, when I go to my third Q, you can see the color has been updated to amber there. So that's editing cues using include update. There's another method for editing cues, which is merging. The merging method is useful if you need to edit multiple cues and a particular attribute in one go. I'll start with a simple use of merging. Again, Q3 here, my spots in amber. I'm going to select the lights and I'm simply going to select the gobo. I'm not going to locate them. All that's in the programmer is that gobo information. If I want to now add this into Q3, I can merge it by going shift record holding the shift key down, tapping record, selecting record merge on the top left, and then clicking on my queue. It gives me the option to merge that to the current queue I'm in, clear the programmer, and you can see just that gobo information has now been merged into that queue. Let's take a different example. Let's bring down this playback. Let's select the spots. If we don't locate them, let's say I select red, record there, green, record there, blue, record there. I've got three cues, going to run as a chase by default because I'm in normal live mode. And it's stepping through those three cues as a chase, but all that's in there is color information. I didn't locate them, so there's no dimmer in there or no shutter information. I can now go to the group window and I could say at full on my keypad, set the open gobo, open the shutter, and that's now in the programmer. And you can see the colors chasing through coming from the playback. If I stop the playback, it stops chasing. 
but I now want to merge that information. I didn't locate, so there's no color information. You can see here in the programmer, just dimmer, shutter, and open gobo information. I want to merge that to all of my cues in one go. So I could go shift record, record merge, select the playback, and this time select entire cue stack, clear the programmer, and I've now merged that information to all three of my cues. But because it didn't have any color information, it's not touched a color individually in those cues. So you can now see Playback 10 is running through that chase with that new merged information in there. You can also do the opposite of merging, which is record removing. This could be used to take attributes out of the cue stack. So maybe you want to separate, have one playback running with dimmer for your fixtures, another running color. You accidentally put dimmer into your color cue stack. You could use it to take it out. You can also use it to completely remove fixtures from a cue or cue stack. In my case here, I'm going to select my spots left group and then I'm going to locate because that puts everything about them in the programmer. I'm going to select shift record. And when you record remove, it doesn't matter the attribute value. The attribute just needs to be active in the programmer. So by pressing locate, I've put every attribute in the programmer. I could have just gone and selected a group. I could have just put intensity at different value and I could have gone around the position color beam windows and just knocked the encoder wheels to include the attributes at a value. By pressing locate, you can see a much faster way of doing that. I select record remove, select my cue stack here, and I'm going to say entire cue stack. Clear the programmer, and you can see those left spots there have now been completely removed from all three of my cues. With merging and removing, you can also specify cue numbers. So if you want to merge on a per cue basis, let's say I want to change the position uh, for cue uh, one and three only, I could go to position. I could set my new position. I could say shift record, merge. And on my keypad, I could type Q1 plus three there. And it's merged to just Qs one and three only. In our next video, we're going to take a look at palettes and some more fixture control.